Hey everybody, it's Jeff. This is going to be part 15 of the uh, GMC Bofors truck uh, by Hobby Boss in 135th scale, dedicated to uh, Jim Steen. Okay, um, in this one we're going to work on the gun some more, and I did get a bunch of parts primed. I'll show those to you. So let's go down to the bench and take a look, okay? I'll be right back. Last night, um, I got everything that I have got done so far all primed up. So here's the chassis. I think it turned out really well. This is uh, the uh, Mr. Surfacer black. I generally don't try and handle it, my parts any more than I have to once I prime them, just to keep the oils and stuff off of them. But, um, There's the hood and a bunch of the other little parts there that the, the dash and the seats and the grill. I noticed a little bit of dust in the hood I need to look into. That's one thing that's nice about the Mr. Surfacer is that it's really easy to sand it. Here's all the tires and or all the wheels. I've already shown you those. The tires are finished. They're all painted up and just need to be assembled. Put everything in containers to keep the dust off of them. There's the cab in the front part of the box. Um, in the cab on the sides down low on the doors on both sides. Well, they really don't have doors, but on the sides of the cab down low uh, I noticed some pretty healthy sink marks that I didn't notice before. Um, luckily on this side the spare tire I think will cover and on this side the uh, ammo boxes that sit on the running board should cover. Okay so those all look pretty darn good. And let's see, I got just a couple more things here. There's the back of the box. There's the ammo boxes there. It says to make three, but they give you enough parts, so I went ahead and made up four. Um, a tip on these ammo boxes, they're real easy to put together, but there are some ejector pins on the inside that are raised, and they will interfere a little bit with your fit. So make sure that you got everything flush on the inside uh, before you put them together so you don't have any issues. Okay. And what else have I got here? Oh, this is just the tires that are already, those are all painted in the rubber black or tire black, whichever it is. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff that's about ready to have the final paint on. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go over everything and I'll look for any places that are not right, whether it's scratches that I didn't get sanded away or uh, joints that aren't right, and I'll fix all that. And then I'll, pram I'll uh, prime those spots again, and then once I'm happy with everything, uh, I'll go ahead and start putting the uh, olive drab on it. Well, I'll, I'll look everything over first just to make sure. Hey, let's take a look at our instructions real quick. Um, we're on 14 right now. And we put the two halves together with the spring and this little F32 on the side. We put the barrel in and we put the photo etch. Hey, Jordan. Passing through. We put the photo etch and these couple of parts on. So the next thing to do is this stuff over here. I did put this one little piece of photo etch on here. But that's about as far as I got because I didn't want the, uh, I wanted to make sure the barrel dried nice and straight before we went any farther. Okay, let's go back to the other, to the camera. Okay. 
here's what we got here. It actually looks like the barrel might be up just a little bit. I think it'll be alright. Yeah, there's enough. It'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and get a few more parts put on this. Um, here's our base. Let's see, these will be the next parts. So we've got these. We still have lots of parts left to put on. I'll show you here. See here? There's only a couple of parts in each one, but uh, there's some more really teeny tiny little photo etch and things that need to be done. Okay. Set that aside. Get rid of those. We've got this. We've got a hair there. This is F46. Let's sit on the back here. This gun's really, really intricate when it's all done. There's some extremely tiny photo etch that still is going to be on this. I'm not really sure how much of it's going to show. I'm going to wait on some of the PE till I can kind of see what can be seen and what can't. Seems like sometimes manufacturers like to uh, pad their count, kind of, I guess. And they give you a lot of pieces that never, you'll never see. Okay, and we've got these go on both sides. I'm trying to remember now which is the right and which is the left okay there's a slight little locator there Jordan's here for a visit. Hang on. What are you doing, Jordan? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's excited. Okay. 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 Hang on a minute. He's not going to go away quick. Let me shut this up. Okay. I'm back. Yeah. He, he's, he likes to beg. I don't know about him. I think, think he's pretty spoiled. Okay. Make sure I got this the right direction. The little screw holes go to the back. Okay. This gun ought to look really nice when it's all finished. Okay. One thing I want to do, let's see if I can find the part real quick. There's a uh, Later on, there's a, a uh, here it is. So 
some ammo that goes in there so I want to make sure it'll go in there okay I want to paint it separately but I want to make sure it fits yeah it looks okay okay yeah that'll I'll paint that up separately but I want to make sure it's gonna fit okay okay and then we have a real small grab handle that goes here and it's still got a little bit of the screw connector left I left the screw connector on there on purpose as a place to get a hold of it then I'll cut it off once I get it in place There we go. I'll let that firm up a little bit and then I'll cut that sprue connector off and we'll be all good to go. And we've got this arm. And where does the arm connect? That's the bad thing about these. The instructions are really vague. They just kind of give you an arrow and they point approximately where it should go. I need to look a little farther ahead. See if I can tell where this is supposed to be. There's a slight hole there. I think that's where it goes. And it fits in this little piece of photo edge put on the other day. Oh, whoops, darn it. That's where it goes, I think. Okay. We can go ahead and cut that little sprue connector off. Okay, I don't even think that's going to need sanded. And we'll continue back out here. Okay. And we've got these. We've got a plate that goes here. Should drop in the hole holes. Okay, it really has no locators on the back. I think the holes. Okay, what I'm going to do, apparently the pins go through both parts. So we need to go through here and in through there. Those pins are just a little bit tight.
Okay. And in the hole, there's a hole right here, and that's going to go toward the rear of the gun. So it'll go like this. Okay. I spent quite a bit of time cleaning that gear up too. They had several um, sprue connecting points that connected right to the teeth on the gear. Made it rather difficult to clean up. Okay, then we've got F12, or excuse me, F47. This is some of the shell ejectors from what I can tell. Or the chute that catches the shells as it's being ejected. little bit tight. Okay. There's two little bitty pieces of photo etch. I mean really tiny pieces of photo etch. They go on there. Let's see. I'm looking for them. I don't even see them in this container. Oh yeah, I put them in a separate container. Here they are right here. You can't even see them, can you? Well, maybe you can when the light's just right. I'm going to hang on to those and I'm going to wait and put them on a little later because I know I'll knock them off. Okay, this um, F36 goes right here and I lost it. It ping pinged off when I was cleaning it and uh, it's gone. Okay, so that's Uh, step 14 done except for some of the photo etch. Okay. So let's go ahead and get on with 15. See all the pieces that still need to be assembled here. Okay. So. I'm not sure how this is all going to work out. I'm just looking at the instructions here. Get the rest of the pieces up here. These are the sides. Okay. We've got several locating holes. So these will go here. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, it doesn't really clear. I guess it does, just barely. We've got F11. pieces here and there's our ammunition which I'll do later okay let's see here 
might be good to put one side in the base and then build on that. So this will go this way. Like this. Okay. This will go like this. And off of that, see it's very difficult to tell. I believe these go, see that one might be a short shot. These go through here. Or do I need to trim that? I think that needs to be trimmed. Let's see here real quick. Before I do that, these will go in here. I'm just trying to get my spacing. Excuse me. Yeah, so that needs to be that needs to be trimmed to where those come together. Well, they actually do come together. I don't think it needs to be trimmed. It's going to be tricky. Really tricky. Getting that together. It's almost like they want you to put that through and then glue it. That leaves a little bit sticking out. Glue that and then line them up. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Hang on just a minute. Back. Okay. Yeah, this is tricky. So those actually, one, they have a little uh, locator pin in the center. I put those together and line them up. Try and keep them from getting any glue on them. Okay. There is a little bit of space between those. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit for a little while and uh, firm up. Okay, and I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Okay, I think I got it. Still kind of adjusting here. It's not very good. There, maybe that's better. I need to put some glue right there in the middle to 
stabilize that. If I can get to it. Tricky. Very tricky. That has it. And it does elevate. Um, I'm going to let this sit and firm up for a while. We have our little rods that run through there. That, that was tricky. Not as bad as putting the uh, rear axles together, but it, a little tricky. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit after this firms up, guys. Thanks. Okay, um, there's a few little parts here we can go ahead and get put together and just leave that alone. Uh, here's what we're working on. We've got um, three main parts plus two photo etch. So I've got them all right here. And then we'll have to add some other parts here in a minute. Here's all the parts for that. Okay. Just trying to orient everything to the same way the uh, drawings are. So we've got this. Okay, figure out which way it goes. Okay. Just a little cover. Okay, and then we have another cover on this side. And it's got a flat sided key or peg. Okay, and then we've got a couple of pieces of photo etch to put on that. Let's see, PE5 will go on top. Let's get our black CA out here again. Let me grab my photo etch uh, picker up. Or I do have a couple of wax pencils. There's that. And a photo with, or a wax pencil there. Pigment seems to separate just a little bit out of this if you leave it set for a while. Okay, let's see how our pencil does. Here's our part. This will go on top. It 
See, that won't even pick it up. I'm not sure just why. There we go. Okay. And then we have one that goes around this little bracket. See, some of this stuff, I don't know if it really adds or not. And that I'm not going to be able to manipulate quite like that. And don't tell me the shaft is a little too large. Here it goes. It is. It's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to get that off of there and then sand that down just a little bit. I guess I'm going to have to wait for the CA to cure before I do anything with that. So let's go ahead and set that aside for a minute. Let's see, we can Can add this part. This is F3. It's very tricky to orient things. I believe it goes like that. Let me look closer. <laughs> These instructions are not clear at all. Oh, okay, well that's not what I expected. This goes, there's a little pin right here and this goes clear over here like this. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can do anything with a small file. Reduce the size of that shaft just a little bit. I should have checked. Before fitting it. Yeah, I had to, I wanted to get everything in the yard taken care of. I had to mow, so I went out early this morning because I was under the impression it was going to rain all afternoon. And it, it opened up and rained good for about five minutes. But that's okay, the yard needed, the grass needed mow anyway. See if that'll fit now.
Still not quite. <clears throat> I'm getting a horse. <laughs> Sorry. Usually I do my videos fairly early in the morning, but it's getting on toward evening now. I, I record the day before I put them out just to give me a little bit of a buffer. So it's actually Monday afternoon here now. Or I should say Monday evening. Just got through watching watching Ron Calverly and Peter at all scale model. A couple of great guys. Still not quite. Okay. Trying to decide. Well, I definitely want to finish the mini art armored truck that I started before this all came up. And I'm trying to decide if I want to pursue another truck or work on a boat or maybe a plane. Haven't decided yet. There it fits. Okay. Get a little glue underneath it. See if it still should still be liquid. Yeah. This part I can't put on later because there's parts that go over it. So. And it's big enough I know you're going to be able to see it. Okay. Push it all the way down. straight okay that looks pretty good and then we need to put this crank on and that'll finish that little step off I don't know if it's critical which way this crank goes or not They've got it kind of setting like this. And like that. Okay, I'm going to leave this alone. Let it have a chance to set up real good. And I think we're good on this. Here and there. 
Okay, I'll put some pictures up. I think I'm going to call that enough for tonight, tonight or today. Um, but I'll put some pictures up of my progress, and we'll get some more done tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I can get the pieces for the body all inspected and fix any little problems I see, and then maybe get this finished up. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.